Well, hello there, people of the internet. And today we're gonna take a look at another MS gaming peripheral. Now, this time it's a gaming keyboard, but last time we take, took a look at a gaming mouse. You can click here if you want to check it out. Well, this keyboard is really cheap, but it's really good, mostly. <laughs> Now, the keyboard in question is MS Flipper 2. Now, there is one thing I want to point out. Yes, it does say MS on it. But did you know you can order this exact same keyboard with your name on it, with your logo on it, that is. Uh, I'll provide a link in the description. But the thing is, you can order this keyboard with your logo on it. You can put the logo of, I know, whatever you want. The only downside is you have to order at least 500 of them. So, yeah, you will probably find a lot of these keyboards that look exactly the same but with a different logo on it. Also, the price will vary a lot. I paid $15 for mine. $15 for this keyboard, I'm not really mad. I can't complain much about this keyboard. Now, when you look, kind of, when you look at it, it does look really nice. It is really lightweight, so there's that. It has aggressive looks. At uh, the bottom beneath the spacebar you have a gamer logo on it, gamer logo, gamer text, gamer thing. And it is backlit, but you only have three colors to choose. Red, blue, and uh, purple. And you can also choose between three modes. You have pulsing, switching colors, and just, you know, glowing. On the very top you have some media keys, you know, like play, forward, backwards, uh, volume, up and down. A key for mail, I don't know how much useful that is, I mean, it's not really useful to me. Oh, I need to access my mail right now. <laughs> nah, not really. Now, about the keys themselves, they are membrane keys, membrane keyboard. So, it's, well, they are, I mean, for $15, they are like, okay, I can't complain much. Um, the position of it is a bit, I mean, it's kind of a bit I know, it's a bit awkward when typing for a very long time, sometimes my finger do hurt a bit, you do have to apply some decent pressure to push a key, but I know, that just, probably just me, I mean, my dad used that keyboard my, way more than I do, and he doesn't complain at all, so that's probably just me. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you can adjust the uh, brightness of the keys on three different levels and of course you can turn off the uh, backlight thing if you'd like. There is one thing that kind of bugs me a lot, but actually, actually two of them. First, the space bar is like flimsy, I mean, it's, well, that's flimsy, it's not really solid, it kind of does that a lot. And the previously mentioned media keys at the top, they are not backlit, I mean, I would really like those keys to be backlit, but they are not. Yeah, that's it. So this was a really quick, really, really quick 4 minute video. I don't even know if it will be 4 minutes. But yeah, really short video about a gaming keyboard that costs only $15. And if you want a keyboard that just looks nice, this keyboard is definitely for you for $15. Hell, you can even put your logo on it and sell them. Yeah. So yeah, do make sure to like and subscribe and I'll be seeing ya. Peace.